Personal computers entered the market in the 1970s, but they were difficult to use and only appealed to devoted hobbyists. That changed, thanks to Bill Gates. Gates was born in 1955 to a wealthy family in Seattle. As a teenager, he became fascinated with computer software, spending much of his time programming alongside Paul Allen, Microsoft's other co-founder. In 1975, After reading about a microcomputer produced by MITS, Gates called the company's president and tried to sell him a program for the device. Intrigued, the president asked Gates for a demonstration. The problem was, neither Gates nor Allen had prepared any code. They spent the next month relentlessly working on their program before traveling to the MITS office in New Mexico. The demonstration was a success and MITS hired Allen and Gates. Soon, the pair left MITS and started their own company, named Microsoft, a combination of the words microcomputer and software. By 1979, Microsoft earned approximately $2.5 million a year, and by 1983, about 30% of computers ran on its software. That same year, Allen left the company, In 1985, Microsoft released the first retail version of Microsoft Windows, which made computers simple enough for the average person to use. Throughout the following years, computer prices dropped and sales skyrocketed, making Gates one of the world's richest people and Microsoft one of the world's largest corporations. In 2000, Gates stepped down as Microsoft CEO to focus on philanthropic projects tackling everything from poverty to polio. Thanks to Microsoft, personal computers are now a staple in homes and offices worldwide, likely adding trillions to the global economy. And through his philanthropy, Gates has saved tens of millions of lives and helped improve hundreds of millions more. For these reasons, Bill Gates is rightfully our 50th Hero of Progress.